Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning. And today's video is going to be a plan with me as well as a little bit of a tutorial to show how I use my planner, not so much in depth, but just re-explaining the function of my planner as it was requested in the Facebook group. I did have a separate video filmed for this particular topic, but I just didn't want to release it anymore because, um, it was kind of repetitive and I was annoyed with myself. But anyways, so this is the new kit in the shop. It's the Lena, Bina, and Gina. Is it spring yet? I love this kit so much. So we have quite a few elements in here, but all of them really kind of hold their own. I really love the little bikers at the top, the silhouette bikers. I decided to not give them a face because it just felt right. I don't know. I did give them some light blush, but I really like the little uh, bathing suit, the little bikers of Lena, Bina, and Gina, the umbrella, the cute little hat, some sunscreen. We've got some Lena, Bina, and Gina's standing, some hiking Lena, Bina, and Gina's. Of course, they could very easily be like, I don't know, doing a vacation suitcase ball and some sleeping Lena, Bina, and Gina's going on. Of course, Bina is my wonderful, dark-haired, lovely one. And then the blonde one is Gina. It's just that they were switched out of order. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into planning. I'm using my S6 Lite for this plan with me because I just kind of wanted to see how it felt to like film on it because um, I haven't done that yet. I do like using J Notes a whole lot better on my S7 FE. One for size, but also for the speed. My um, memory and my RAM is higher on my S7 FE, so it's just a little bit better. Also, I took the clock off of my tablet and my phone, and I'm just using the calendar with like the list to the side. I was trying to show you guys, but my S ISO was a little too high, so it was giving some lines. <clears throat> Also, for the double tap to open JNotes trick, go to Pentastic, which is a Samsung Notes app, and do the double tap shortcut and set yours to whatever planning app that you use. I use JNotes, so of course I set mine up. I'm just currently changing my points here because I realized I still had a gingerbread cookie on this S, uh, on my S6 Lite. And for those of you who have been asking, I did confirm this is the 2022 S6 Lite version. I guess that means that this particular tablet will get more updates. I'm wondering if that means that they're not going to drop a smaller tablet um, anytime soon or I don't know, but I don't mind the size of this. I actually really do love that I can use this particular tablet for my vertical views. And for those who aren't in the Facebook group, I'm using my Wacom pen because I broke my S6 Lite, not my S6 Lite, my S Pen Pro. But thankfully, one of my wonderful ladies, Marie, way back when, sent me the Wacom pen, so I have been using it. She also sent me some metal tips because she's amazing. And so I have been using it to avoid breaking yours, cut a slit in all of your sleeves. If you're gonna be using the Apple sleeves, cut a slit, cut a slit for that button because that's what I didn't do, and this particular sleeve was too tight, and over time, it just broke the pen. So I'm gonna have to purchase a new one. Um, that's the Faith insert, but I'm gonna show you guys um, kind of how this planner works, but not so much because I've done that in the planner walkthrough for when I first launched this planner. So if you're super curious, please go back and watch the launch video for this planner, as well as the video where I showed you how to use last year's planner, because this is not too far out from that same thing. This is just a divider system planner. So that means you're going to have a lot of empty custom dividers and you will put things behind them. There's templates that come with the planner. When you click on templates and it's over there in that pocket, these are some of the templates. You can't see it that well on the camera, but if you're looking through your planner, then you, you can see what I'm talking about. And you'll just copy one of these pages and put them behind one of your custom sections. Now the location of where you put these is up to you. This is one of my custom sections. It's my Kindle reads and I'm behind on updating this because I actually have some more reads to put in here. But I decorated it and I put my currently reading, which is a massive stack of books that I still need to finish reading. And I went ahead and put the ones that I've completed reading back here. I am not a heavy reader, so I'm proud of myself for even having this list. Um, and like I said, I haven't even updated this thing. I was trying to play with the shapes tool to see if I could make a star, but I needed to thick, uh, thicken the weight of the line so that it was semi looked filled in. but neither here nor there. I just, I was like, never mind. I'll just worry about this later. They do need to add the color fill for the shapes tool, but that's a template. And I pasted it behind that divider. So that's how you use this planner. If you see an insert that you like, you paste it behind a divider. Now for your weeks, 
like I put out a lot of weekly and daily views in the Dropbox. So this is one week view I don't wanna use this week. And so there's a custom divider behind it. But if you go to the bottom of the page of the weekly view, the main weekly view of the planner, you'll see the numbers one, two, and three and custom. You're gonna click on one of those numbers and it'll take you to the custom divider. There you can put any kind of insert that you wanna put behind there. I'm going to be using the unlinked extended views that I added into the planner Dropbox because there is a weekly view that is vertical that I wanna use. So I'm currently going into the folder to go grab that and I'm going to just merge that one page behind that custom divider. Um, like I said, if you are looking for a more in-depth way of how I use my planner, watching the launch video is definitely helpful because it pretty much, I explained the entire planner from top to bottom. I didn't wanna remake that exact same video. I realized, like I said, it felt really redundant and repetitive and I don't want to take up space on my channel repeating myself when, and it's not like, you know, oh my gosh, I gotta repeat myself, but I just know that I did cover a good chunk of what these planners do. So I would prefer you do it that way because I don't wanna rush a video either and give you guys something sloppy. Um, so yes, I went ahead and put this weekly view behind that custom section and I'm going to use this view in vertical, which I'm really excited about. Like I said, I got this tablet honestly for the vertical views because the S7 FE is just way too skinny and weird as far as doing like vertical views are concerned, it's not my favorite. This just feels way more comfortable in the hand. I'm just grabbing my stickers that I wanna use from Samsung Notes because the April subscription box that I'm working on, a good chunk of that is already in my Samsung Notes as I'm slowly organizing them as I go through it. So yeah, I'm gonna bring over the days of the week. I realized that it was too big and that I didn't do my little Zoom trick. I have told J Notes multiple times, I'm like, y'all gotta get that resize thing down because it's really annoying to have to zoom in just to get stickers a certain size um, and not be able to resize multiple things at once. That's just, I don't know. If you're gonna make an app like this, I feel like that should be kind of a given, but that's just my opinion. You know, what do I know? I'm just using these apps. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you did not check out the J Notes versus Good Notes video, that posted yesterday, definitely check it out. It was really good and fun. I mean, yeah, I had some struggle moments, y'all. I was tired. It's been a really interesting set of days for me, so I've been kind of sleepy, and it showed because, wow. But it's still very informative, and I do think, like I said, the apps are extremely comparable. Good Notes has released their Android beta early access version. It's no good right now. There's not an app on this tablet that is bad as that, uh, that particular app right now. But I know that they'll get it up to speed and they're probably trying to get used to the OS and stuff. I just really hope that they don't do a few things. I hope that they do not um, do that note shelf thing where the iPad version feels better than the Android version because they give more options, whether it's the color bar or like a couple of things on note shelf that just simply you get more options for on the iPad than you do. I know most people say it's not so good on the iPad either, which is why you don't see that many people using it. But I still would like to argue that I do think that the iPad version is better than the Android version. So I hope that GoodNotes takes the time to actually learn the market and learn what we look for on our Android tablets because the functionality of an Android tablet, tablet excuse me, is very different than an iPad. Um, so what we're going to get should look a little different than what you're seeing on uh, people's iPads. I will say this, it's going to open a whole new can of worms that's exciting because if they do what I'm hoping they do, you should be able to use GoodNote Sheets across your iPad and your Android tablet. I make GoodNote Sheets, so that's why I'm kind of excited because it would be cool to, you know, kind of open the door a little bit more for a lot of my Android people who maybe have purchased products from someone and have uh, they only have Android sheets I mean good note sheets you'll be able to use those and then of course like I said I already make those so it wouldn't really hurt me too much because I make both Samsung notes and good note sheets so it's just one of those things where I'm excited to see where it goes I will say this and I've always said this if you're a shop owner and you don't cater to both types of uh tablets or both types of uh, OS's, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. It's good to specialize in something like I do consider myself like 
an Android girl, and of course I specialize in Android, but I'm not completely ignorant to what's going on in Apple because at the end of the day, I'm doing digital planning and you can do it on either of these tablets. So if you are gonna open a shop, I really do recommend that you take the time to save up to get both devices and take the time to learn both devices. Now, as you get further into your specialized um, tablet, you are going to miss a few updates like myself, or maybe you don't know it verbatim, but it's good to be able to make products for both people. Because one of the things that kind of always bothered me, and I did this for a minute because I was like, well, shoot, no one else is doing this, so why should I have to do the extra work um, and break my neck to make two sheets or whatever when majority of my people are Android. But then I realized, and I said this to myself, no, you need to make sure you make a good note sheet moving forward for everything you drop because the reality of it is you're paying the same price as everybody else. So if you go shop with um, an Etsy shop that specializes in iPad and you pay $20 for their sticker book, and you're not getting an organized sticker book, you get a PNG folder. But you paid the same price as this person over here who's using this organized sticker book. That's really not fair, because it's like, I'm paying the same price, but I'm getting a different product. And I don't feel like people really realize that or talk about it, but that's really jacked up. Like, that's not right. So I'm glad that, you know, I don't have that many iPad customers, but the ones that I do have are very vocal and I do love that because it reminds me like, no, even though, you know, you do specialize in Android, there are people on iPad who love your products and who want to use it and would like to have a good note sheet. So if you're new here and you have an iPad, yes, I do do good note sheets and you can purchase from me and moving forward and you will definitely have one because yeah, it's good to take the time out to do that. I'm using the last March Deluxe Exclusive Vault kit to give myself some little lists here within the actual boxes. Um, I'm gonna do one for a home category and one for work category. I'm just sizing them down right now. So <laughs> that's what you see me doing, excuse me. Um, if you have the deluxe exclusive vault from me, or if you have not purchased that, definitely go purchase it and then download everything inside of that vault. They're both very inexpensive. Well, there's only one open now. The Deluxe Exclusive Vault is very inexpensive and you're getting a year's worth of stickers. The Deluxe Exclusive Vault has sticker kits that are upwards of 80, 80 stickers and up. Um, so if you want to go ahead and get 12 months worth of 80 stickers that are themed and very pretty, pre-cropped and organized, um, then definitely get that. Now, when I was making those, I only did Samsung note sheets, but moving forward, since I'll be doing the subscription box, it will have a good note sheet. So don't fret, I got you, I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited about this subscription box. So I'll share a little bit of uh, some of the things I wanna do with it, just so you guys can have an idea of what I'm aiming for. So I want to do this on Patreon or Patreon, however you pronounce it. And it's going to have two tiers, of course, I want to be fair, and then there will be an a la carte version, excuse me, for people who don't want to do a subscription, they would prefer to buy the items separate. Of course, there has to be incentive. I am a businesswoman first. Um, so obviously, if it's a la carte, you'll be buying it in the shop and it will be priced up because I have to consider Etsy fees, etc. So you will be paying more to get the separate stickers, but I mean, that will be up to your own decision. The subscription box and the uh, tier one, and it'll be tier one and tier two. Those two kits will differ in price, but only slightly, and it will only be a difference in one having more than the other. Um, I am building these boxes to basically be everything that you need for the month already situated, organized, um, in some cases already pre-decorated. It just will be the stuff, especially if you're busy and you don't have time, but you want to plan. You want to have something that keeps you organized. This is going to be great for you. And then on top of that, if you are struggling to budget, this is going to be great for you as well because it's one price. What I've done to come up with my price is I've looked at the average purchase price of whatever I launch. I normally launch these days maybe 16 products, 12 products at once. And so I have some consistent buyers. You guys are very wonderful and you love my shop. I have taken and averaged what you normally spend on a launch because I normally launch now about once a month. 
And that average price gave me a ballpark of what I would want to price my subscription kit around. That way you come up underneath the price that you pay normally whenever I launch something so that it's cheaper, you're getting more stuff, but it's just coming out monthly and you don't have to think about it. You're just like, okay, automatically, I know I'm gonna get my stuff. It's gonna come to me, I'm gonna be good to go. And it's the same price every month so I can go ahead and put it inside of my work stuff or whatever my budget tracker is or whatever and I know how much it costs. So really excited about that. Wow, you guys cannot see. <laughs> You cannot see the colors that I chose on this. Um, it's like a that grayish color. I did talk to J Notes about what their updates are that they're intending to do. Highlighter opacity is something that they're looking into doing. I don't know that it's coming out with this next update. It should be coming out soon, anyways. The update that I'm talking about. Um, I've been <laughs> I've been kind of like uh, trying to figure out what's going on with the update and she's telling me right now that they're in the final phases of testing which is smart they want to make sure they get all the bugs situated so you know I'm being patient but I'm excited for more updates because as I told you all in the good notes video with good notes being on our platform now once they get it all sorted this is going to give other apps a push to actually try because I feel like some of them get a little lazy because they're like, oh, there aren't that many apps on here anyways. And so, you know, I can do the bare minimum and get away with it. And then of course, those are there are those who are doing it by themselves and working as hard as they can. I feel like with GoodNotes joining this space, it's going to, like I said, give us more apps. And I think more iOS note-taking apps will look at this shift and be like, shoot, we should do an Android app as well. Because GoodNotes is the biggest digital planning app out there. So. It's definitely something I think we'll see some changes in the atmosphere from. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for what's coming for PGL. And I know I always say that, but I'm always trying to push the limits here of what I can do with my little shop here. <laughs> and my lovely ladies, you guys are awesome. I, when I told you guys, told you guys, when I told, when I told you guys, my God, when I tell you guys, Lord have mercy, that's what I mean to say. When I tell you guys that I love these little sticker ladies on the bikes, I cannot. When I was drawing this, I was like, because whenever I draw Lena, Bina, and Gina, I use models because I'm not the best at drawing humans. I'm more of an item type of drawer and definitely flowers, more likely. I can do those freehanded easily. I turned on the recording uh, filter too, really quickly. See the difference a little bit? Anyways, so I always like to use silhouette models, like the little, it's similar to like the little wooden thingies that people put on their desk to kind of like show like the movement of the body. Like if you're in art, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so I use that for the little bikers and I love the different positions that they're in. It's just super cute. Like look how adorable it is and they all have different colors that they're wearing that I feel complement their skin tones really well putting my little sunscreen over here with the little note section like I just think it's just so pretty and just bright and you know I don't think any of us are really experiencing spring weather per se where I live we were for like a hot second but then it got extremely cold <laughs> <laughs> and my son thought it was a cute idea to take his clothes off and he was shaking. My husband had to go in there and put him back in his little zippy onesie. I'm like, boy, no, this is not summertime. It's not time to undress yourself. It's too cold for that, for whatever reason. Spring is like, oh, psych. <laughs> like, I made you look. You thought you were going to have spring weather, but you don't. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this uh, vlog on a little bit more of a serious note. I have to say this. If you have not read Revelation um recently go back and read that we are living in such interesting times right now and having the comfort of god's word and what he intends to do um yeah it's so wonderful it's just i don't know that book for me every time i study it of course i see something new because it's so heavy and it's very uh it's the only prophet uh prophecy book that we got in the bible and it's just so strong it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, on another note, too, 
well, I guess I have to share this in other videos. Too short, <laughs> too short of time left. I'm using the uh, fountain pen. I wanted to try it out to see like how I felt about the way that it wrote. And I actually like it more than the ballpoint pen because it gives you some variation in your tips and the way you're ending and beginning your letters. So if you are into writing more, maybe try out the uh, fountain pen if you haven't already, of course. But anyways, um, after I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and shower. I have that baby shower tomorrow. So I want to kind of uh, do something with my hair. Gotta go shopping tomorrow because I kind of waited till the last minute. I had, look, never mind, I'm not gonna get into it. You guys know, you know. Mom life, business owner, it gets kind of crazy, but I try my best. I try my best. Uh, yeah, I like this pen, but I'm seeing on camera now I probably could have chosen another color, like maybe black. I don't know. That might have helped. But you guys know I love to strain you guys' eyes and make you really test it out. You see how it's slowly getting darker? Cannot wait for daylights, uh, well, for spring forward, so I can get more daylight, so I can film. Because, yeah, filming with the kids is a no-go. They are way too loud. As you guys hear on my uh, Facebook page, my Facebook group, you guys know when I pop in there with a little video, you can hear all the noise, and it is crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope that you enjoyed planning with me for next week, and I hope that you kind of saw... How you can really use this planner as flexible as you want put the uh put the pages behind any of the dividers that you feel comfortable with think about what the item is and what would make the most sense for you and your planner and just have fun with it you can never mess up like i always say if you mess up just download again and try again but this is my finished view i hope that you like this video once again don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you all tomorrow on monday for episode what is it seven I'll see you guys on Monday for episode seven of the 101 planning series. I won't be able to get it up on Sunday just because of the baby shower and whatnot. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And once again, I will see you all next time. Bye.